Alright, this is the quadratic formula. Wait, it's not recording. Where is it? <laughs> it is! Yeah. Oh there we go again. Alright, right. here we go. Uh, if you want a good close up shot of me, you'll have one. So just go watch the video. Alright, so uh, 4x squared plus 9x plus 2. So we got to remember we got ax squared plus bx plus c, right? And we're asked, so that is what a quadratic formula is, or that's what a quadratic is, right? The, the square. But then we got to uh, use the formula. So we're asked x equals, right? If this equals 0, then x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay? And so then we just got to plug these things in. Okay? So I've got negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, right? And so now I just grab each one, and I like to start with the b's, okay? B's come first, so I just start with the b's. So I'm going to do 9 and 9, okay? And you take the whole sign. In this case, the sign is positive, right? So it doesn't matter, 9 positive is just 9. But if it were a negative, it would be negative 9. Negative 9, okay? So, sorry, that looks like a Q. It's a 9. Alright, then I want to take my A's. So my A is right here. And that's going to be 4 and 4. Okay? And then I want to take my C. The whole C, the whole sign, everything. Okay? And that's 2. And then I just do the math. Negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 9 squared, so 81, minus times all pluses gives me a minus, right? So if there was two pluses or two minuses in here, that would be a plus. If there's all three are minuses, then that would be a minus, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, 4 times 4 is 16, times 2 is 32, right? All over 8. Okay, and so now I've got 9 negative plus or minus 81 minus 32. So 32 from 81 is 79 minus 3 from 7 is 4. So that would be the square root of 49, right, all over 8. But what is the square root of 49? If I take 40, yeah, 7, good. If I take 49, break it down, 7, 7, 7, 7, 1. I take out my pair, that leaves it out. There's nothing inside the box except the 1. The square root of 1 is 1. 1 times 7 is 7, so we know it's 7. Okay? Just in case you get something that's not a perfect square, you just break it down and pick your pairs. Okay? Pull your one pair out, leave whatever you don't pair up in the box, you're good. All right, so this is 7, plus or minus 7, right, all over 8, okay? So now this goes in two directions. 1, negative 9 plus 7 over 8, which is negative 2 over 8, which is negative 1 fourth, right? I think that's what we got over there, yeah? Negative one-fourth. So x is going to equal negative one-fourth, and it also equals negative nine minus seven over eight. So that's going to be minus 16 over eight. So that's going to be minus two. Okay? And so x is equal to both negative one-fourth and negative two.